What's up everybody, Naresh here and you are watching Naresh Television. If you're new here, why not click on to that subscribe button? Because here on my channel, you're going to see good stuff for your Kodi streaming world and some fantastic tech product reviews. Today's video is a DIY a installation guide actually for this Boss Cam R1 dash cam and rear camera system. So take it like I will be showing you each and every step you need to know to install this whole system, which is a rear mirror, dash cam, and also the rear backup camera as well. Each and every step in one complete video. This video is applicable to all the dash cam systems because on every car you need to hide your wirings as well, which I will be showing you in this video too. So it's not necessary that you have a boss cam system. You can have a Vox Auto or any more other one systems, whatever they are. Still, this video is applicable to all of them too. So here I have a tip for you. Make sure that you have everything which you need to install this camera system on your car. Because this camera system is a dash cam as well as a rear camera system. I would like to check them. They are working perfectly fine before I can rip off all my car. Okay. And also make sure all the fittings available in it as well along with the adhesives to stick the rear camera obviously our dash cam will be installed right in here so i'd like to make sure that i got a nice amount of fittings rubber fittings whatever included to fit the mirror in there now let's go ahead with the installation process so let's first install the dash cam on our windscreen mirror it's very easy and straightforward the only thing you need to make sure that the camera lens should be towards the passenger side and it also come with these rubbers as well because I'm using thin mirror here so I need to use the normal type but if you got a thicker mirror right in there some cars do have them then you can use this 50% extra stretchable rubbers which will make sure that dash cam is properly secured now to install it, simply put it on like this. Get your stretchable rubber on the top of it and then down one. Now install the other one it's following the same method. Okay, let's get in there. It's got it locked here. Go down here, install it that way that's it that's how easy and straightforward it is guys now from the point of mounting the dash cam we have just done it so let's turn on the ignition and make sure that this camera system works to start with there we go straight away turned on recording as well now let me temporarily connect the rear camera as well to see that it is working too Now the only way you can turn on the reverse camera on this dash cam system is by putting 12 volt on this red wire and ground on this. That's how it's going to power the whole system up and show you the rear camera right in here. If you'd like to do that, you can go ahead and do it. I would highly recommend to try it before you're going to install the system on your car. Now. In this dash camera you have these two cables which you need to pass through one is for the power another one is for rear camera the power will be going into the cigarette lighter down in here but it's not necessary you could have a permanent solution i will be putting a link in the video description for you the way you can buy this permanent fuse which converts 12 volt into the 5 volt with the mini usb connection in it and you can mount it straight into your fuse box now the path I will be passing these wires would be from this way right from there down in the back of my car right there and all the cables will be tucked inside and you won't be able to see them at all coming right in there I hopefully try to go inside here and try to mount the camera right on the top of the number plate while installation try to make sure you leave a bit of extra wire on top in here 
The reason is sometimes you might have to take the dash cam out. All the trims on your cars also come out as well easily. Just make sure you don't use some harsh tools, you know. I'm using a screwdriver here, which is still harsh, but try to make sure you don't mark it because you'll be always looking at that mark. So remember that, don't do that. So here I'm going to divide the power and the rear camera cable. The power will be going down from here, right down in there, and the rear camera will be going right in outside of here and up back. Now, as I mentioned to you before, that you could use one of those kits and install everything right in your fuse box. This is the fuse box installation part you're going to get with it. Now, the power connection is completed and we can't really see much of those wiring straight away, right? As you can see that, very nicely tucked in. Now, we're going to just give it a try. Here we go. The cigarette lighter light up and has our camera lit up as well and working. One part is done. Let's go ahead with the rear camera. So I have almost now finished all the wiring and you can see that it's not even seen anywhere within the car now before i can tidy up all the wiring left over i wanted to make sure that the camera works when i go in the reverse gear so what i've done temporarily here i have connected the switch wiring black and red cable in the reverse light it might be different in your car but the principle would be exactly the same you can connect the black wire to the body of your car or you can connect reverse light wiring and the red wire will go into the next wire which is the live so make sure you check whole system before tidying up all the job and if i put in the reverse gear hey go i can see the rear view as well so technically all the wiring seems to be working fine so as the rear camera so now if i wanted to remove these parking assistant lines you just need to cut this loop to deactivate the parking guide lines now the way I have connected the wiring, you can follow the same method, but you can also buy some piercing clips actually. So you don't need to undo any sort of wiring. You just introduce the clips in the middle and connect some wires extra. I will leave the link in the video description, which will also help you where you can find those stuff. So now we are almost ready. I'm going to tidy it all up, putting some tape around it, not for getting shot or anything like that. Now, whole camera system is out now, right in here in front of you. Sorry for the mess in the base. I have also taken all the wirings which I have tucked in here outside, as you can see that. Now I'm going to pass it up to here, then from here, go underneath there and inside. That would be all. Now the easiest method I have found to install this rear camera and pass the wiring without making any extra hole in my car is using this light cover. So I'm going to take it out and try to pierce in nicely in there and tuck in all the wiring. So now as we went through the easiest route, I take in the number plate lamp out. And on housing, you have a gasket. I've done a blade of cut in here just to pass all the wiring. Another thing, the reason I've done the cut in the base, that it will not compromise the safety or in terms of water or anything going into the boot of my car. Now, I'm going to all nicely install the camera right on the top of the number plate. Now, cable is securely fitted under the number plate light, as you can see that. And... There you go, here's our rear camera, which I'm going to install right there. So there we go, rear camera is also installed on top of the number plate now. Wires are done very nicely. All going tucked inside without compromising, making any holes in your car. There is a possibility it could be different on your car, it could be easier or it could be even harder to wire this kind of 
rear this kind of camera system on my car in back mirror i got extra space in here to tidy up the wiring now, to fit the wires inside these tight spots i have used some extra tap so just i can slide them in without any problem like this so you can't even see that and wires just in there so you can just push it in and push it in there you go you can't even see that very nicely and tidy job obviously this part will stay here um, my intentions are to keep it here if i wanted to remove the parking guide lines okay to tidy up this more to tidy this to tidy to tidy this part more i might find some flexible rubber pipe to put it all in there otherwise a tape would do the perfect job try to get the black one in there well works fantastic i'm not really much happy with this kind of arrangement but to be honest with you putting some wires underneath here and tucking it all in there it takes a lot of hard work which i don't want to do at this moment of time maybe in the future in future videos i will do something like that but not in this one now i'm going to put all the covers back on and test the whole system that it camera position is right now let's do a complete check that how the rear camera looks after mounting it on top of the number plate as soon as i put the reverse gear on the camera came on like that and honestly speaking it's giving you better vision and perspective that what is behind you if i compare with the when the camera was mounted on underneath the brake light obviously in the dark reflection was a major issue but this looks fantastic reverse camera in night time